what does the light mean? Is it can it? be a lot of different things. It's really, it's really up to, I think, the viewer to assign something to that. Yeah. It could be knowledge, it could be inspiration, mm -hmm. it could just be pure hope, you know? It, all those things are correct. How was it exploring this, and, and why did you decide to explore the father-daughter kind of teenage years? And oh, nice. Well, you know, we all, from the very beginning, this was always a, a story about the theme of the fear of change. And at the, at the beginning, it was more intellectually challenged about what technology, how to deal with technology, mm -hmm. inventiveness, how it disrupts your life and that kind of stuff. But the one thing that was universally relatable and emotionally, you know, what you could connect to is the change happening within your family. And then the scariest change that happens within any family is when a father has to look at his teenage daughter who's leaving the nest and possibly with a man that he does not like. Yeah. Now, how do you love working in animation? Because I felt like this was very creative in your animals and your... Well, the really neat thing about animation is and different than, the, say, the live action process. A lot of the world that you see was created by the artist. It's not like we wrote a script and then we give it to people and then they realize that in art and they production design what's on the page. We actually are inspired by the artist's work in visual development. One of the great paint in images in the film for me is when Grug paints his family. That wasn't in our script. That was some visual development artist named Margaret Wooler who came up with that. And Chris and I loved that so much, it meant so much to us, that we wrote towards it. Yeah. And we wrote ourselves to get there. Yeah. And so, because we felt like, you know what, that image is what we were trying to say with this film. So I think that that back and forth, the way that, you know, it's going, it goes back and forth between art and, you know, narrative and story and stuff, I think that that's the most special part. And I love that aspect that he loved, you know, his family so much. What other kind of things that you hope families kind of get out of it as a message together? One of the things I loved about this movie was um, a little thing that we gave to Eep, that it was, a, it was a meant to be a character trait, and it was meant to illustrate how much she hated being in the cave and how much she loved the light. And so right before she has to go into the cave for another you know, three or four days, she climbs up on this, this cliff and she touches the last rays of sunlight right before the sun goes down. Um, and that was just a little, a little character thing, but it really grew into one of the main very visual themes of the movie, so much so that at the end of the film, it's a sign that Grug, Grug's mind is opening and that he's you know, he's really going through a huge change because at the end of the film, there's a moment, or near the end of the film, where Grug reaches up and he touches the sun. The thing I love about that is that it's one of these things that you can assign a lot of different meanings to that, and they would all be correct.